Welcome to Digits, I'm Steve Russolillo. Virtual currency Coinye has gone from chat room joke to internet sensation to a legal headache. Lawyers for Kanye West filed cease and desist papers against the seven anonymous coders behind Coinye, arguing trademark infringement. WSJ's Danny Yadron joins us from San Francisco. Danny, how's it going? Well, how about you? <laughs> Good. So this is uh, this is quite an interesting one here. Tell us exactly what's going on right now. Um, so you know you've heard of Bitcoin, but what we've seen over the past uh, year to six months is just a proliferation of other virtual currencies, and they range from you know slight uh, technical tweaks uh, such as you know things like Litecoin or uh, whatnot, or you have things like BBQ coin or Daga coin, or uh, as we wrote about today, Coinye, uh, which was actually created at first as a chat room joke. And you can see an image right there uh, depicting uh, Kanye's image right there. Uh, yeah, so this thing went from a, a chat room joke, but it, it kind of took off pretty quickly, right? Yeah, I mean, it, it sort of it, it started, I'm, I'm told, because they were sort of musing about. All right, you know, there are so many coins out there now. There's a coin for everything. You know, what else could we do? And they're bouncing names back and forth, and all of a sudden they have Coinye West. And it really just took off online. Um, they never gave their actual names involved. Even the cease and desist papers are addressed to coinyewest at gmail.com with no real name given. So now basically Kanye and Kanye's lawyers are getting involved here and they're saying, wait a minute, you know, you can't be using our, our name behind this. They're arguing trademark infringement right now. Uh, so what, what's next now? What's the next step? Um, well, uh, the coders say they are, they are coming out with Kanye nonetheless uh, tonight, uh, 10 o'clock East Coast time. Um, and they're taking a very you know, brash, uh, self-assured attitude about it. Um, somewhat in the manner you'd imagine Mr. Westwood if he was in a similar situation. Um, and then, you know, we'll see what happens next. I mean, with any of these, it matters whether or not it, it catches on. Um, you know, there was a time uh, right before Christmas where Dogacoin, which is, to be honest, I'm still not entirely sure what it is, but it, it's based off of a, uh, a picture of a dog that became very popular on the internet. I think its market cap, it was the seventh, uh, had the seventh largest market cap of any virtual currency for a brief window in mid-December. Which is just astonishing, and I mean, it just shows the power how quickly these things can just get so popular. Uh, so with this Coinye coin, I guess, uh, as you said, they're gonna be releasing it tonight, right? I mean, I guess the, the, is the sky the limit for what could happen here, no matter these uh, you know, cease and desist papers that are out right now? Uh, well, it really matters, you know, um, how far these coders are willing to go. Uh, the cease and desist papers, they say you can't use Coinye West, you can't use any variation on Coinye West, including just Coinye, uh, which is what the coders are attempting. Uh, they've moved their website to an Indian uh, domain name, but, I, you know, we'll see if that actually does anything. But I, from the sound of uh, this legal note, it, this was not a, uh, a funny joke to Mr. West's lawyers. Well, that, and that was my next question, is why does Kanye even care about something like this right now? Um, you know, you, you could argue it's a simple case of brand protection. And again, uh, from the legal document uh, we were given yesterday, it's not even clear if Mr. West himself knows about this. This could be a case of just his lawyer, you know, doing standard brand management type things. Um, and, you know, it really did take off. You, there were articles all around the internet saying, you know, this is the latest cryptocurrency. It fe featured a, a cartoon image of Kanye West. Um, and if nothing else, you know, why have that out there if you're not in control of it? Right, exactly. All right, Danny Yadrin from San Francisco, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. And I'm Steve Russolillo. Thanks for watching Digits.